Hello everyone and welcome aboard Monarch 504 from Manchester to Ibiza. Stay tuned. Well hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all well. And welcome aboard Monarch 504 back in the Inibuilds Airbus A300. Um, now I know we did the uh, Airbus A300 uh, last week uh, with the freight run from Chicago to Denver. But in, I was watching um, an old program on YouTube called Holiday Airline the other day. And they actually did a flight in the 300 from here in Manchester down to Ibiza. And it tempted my interest. I thought, well, you know what? let's have a bit of old school flying today so uh we found this uh monarch livery on the um any builds app was hoping to try and find the uh the black and yellow stripe one the uh kind of like the bumblebee uh paint scheme before it had this one but um couldn't really find one that was satisfied my uh standards so to speak so we'll go with this one this i think this delivery they had when monarch the, we say the original monarch ceased operations so let's uh have a look around and we'll talk about what we're doing today so as i said we're going from manchester here now this is the mako's uh simulations uh manchester airport uh and then we're going down to the inny builds man uh, manchester we're in manchester down to the inny builds uh ibiza scenery uh we are on that sim uh, there is a couple of bits of traffic around. Not sure what that one is there. Uh, but over here, there looks to be quite a little bit interesting one. Let's take a closer look. And it's a China Southern 350. Uh, did they China Southern fly 350s into Manchester? Be quite interesting to hear. In terms of uh, that, um, we have got some air traffic control on our. We've got ground and tower and london online so we will see if we can get out of here in time before they close so let, that's the flight talked about let's talk about some uh talk about some uh flight planning today uh oh something's me flight plans disappeared where's that gone bring that back up quickly uh Right, there we go. Don't know why, for some reason that just disappeared then all of a sudden. There we go, brought it back up. So here we are. Uh, Spent to the zero fuel weight of 115859. Uh, Flight time in the region 1 hour 59, just under 2 hours. And uh, routing today, as you would expect to the Balearics, it's just pretty much a straight run all the way through the country, through England and down through the centre of France to Ibiza. Expect to be departed off runway 23 left here, but we'll check the ATIS and then uh, drive it on to 24 in Ibiza. Right, we'll jump in the flight deck then, and we will get this show on the way. So as always, she needs some power. So we'll get the batteries on and the external power. We'll go through the flow, so no smoking signs for auto. Ground control on. Nav lights go to one. We'll leave those off for now. Switch on the galley power so the crew can get our tea and coffee ready. That's fine. Fuel pumps can stay off. That's all fine. Pop on all the probe and window heat. Emergency lights to arm and bleed on. Lovely. That's that all done. Oh no, we've got the line the RSs. Pretty big job. Otherwise, we're not going anywhere without those. We'll load our flight into the EFB. And there we go. It was about uh, 20 minutes to departure, so we'll uh, try and make this as quick as possible. So that's that loaded in. Uh, weight and balance. Uh, upload from Simbrief. Fly to aircraft. That gives us a heavier 
I'm not sure why this is going. I don't know if this is just me, but this never seems to match the figures. The zero fuel, it never seems to match the figures in the flight plan, but you have updated up, 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 the data from Simbrief, but we'll go with that zero fuel way. Anyway, we'll check the fuel, that's the most important thing. The fuel matches. Uh, 17.1 tons, so that matches. I don't know why the zero fuel weight does on that. But anyway, we'll go with what it says on there anyway. Okay. Right, so. Get rid of all these displays here. So, Echo Golf, Charlie Tries, Manchester, Lima, Echo, India. Bravo, that was it. The reason I thought it was, uh, I thought it was um, Zulu though for some reason. Ultimates Barcelona. And we have a cost index of 15. Cruise level. Flight level is 350. And a flight number Monarch 504. That's that. Grid rig component, we are going with which is 350 slash 77. Okay, we're loading the weights. Block fuel, as we said, we're going with 17.1. Uh, is there a fuel weight? I'll take that from the EFB. Uh, 124.6 and that is 29.42 we'll double check that before we push back make sure that hasn't changed right brilliant sorry excuse me I've got a bit of a block nose today so if I hear me snuffling I'm sorry okay so, oh all of London's uh, Manchester fell off now, so we'll have to cope with that ATC, I'm afraid. Might as well start the boarding, though, while we're at this point, so we're ready to go. Uh, we can request boarding. So, winds at Manchester, 19060 knots. So, yeah, favours the two threes. Yeah, we'll go with two three left. So two three left and we're expecting the Listo to a Yankee departure. Plan finally entered. I mean, hopefully you can see now what I was talking about in the last video. I mean, how complicated is it to put in a flight plan in, the, in Europe? It just goes on and on and on. But yeah, you, you go into America, you've got about four waypoints for a three-hour flight. It, it's crazy. Right, there we go. So that's that all done now. We can uh, switch on these pitch trims and your dampers. Fueling has finished. Yep, it has. We'll pop the seatbelt sign on. And back on the fuel pumps. Okay. It's a bit strange how we've got. Look outside, this is a bit strange. We've got one loader here. 
that's doing canisters and one that's doing like luggage to the bulk. I mean, that's how they would do it probably, but hmm. interesting one. Okay, so that aligned up. Fine. Okay, let's turn our attention to some performance. So we're taking two, three left. That's the wrong way. Sync, calculate. Right. So flex is fifty-eight. That in. Lovely. Uh, one five seven, one five seven for the V one and V two. Uh, there we go. Once and twice, and the V two is one six one. here on the Alisco two-day departure which is 5,000 feet and the runway heading is 231 okay go take Strengths on both sides. Profile and nav. Uh, set the Q and H's. Did it cheat in there? Just press P because we uh, did a long one. Uh, one. So we'll come down and set the uh, set the comms panel. Get in the right position. Right. So cute. Stick on Unicom. Just say I think Manchester's gone offline. Uh, Squawking 2000, so that's all set. Yep, that's all set to go. Lovely. Right. Is everyone boarded? I oh, know it's still not boarded. I think for some reason my GSX sounds have uh, gone. There's always one thing you can't on and I think is that GSX will bug out at some point on your new flight. Right. Okay. So that's what I usually do. I will uh, come back to you when boarding is completed. Not that you can hear my and um, not that you can hear my sort of just reset it, but we've got a couple of things else to set up, such as Volanta and everything else, and then I will come back to you and we'll get underway for Ibiza. Speak to you in a minute. Uh, hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, as you see now, the jet jetway sorry, is just being pulled away and we will get back in the flight that can get underway. Okay, we've got the APU on, so we can disconnect the uh, external power. Parking brake is set, so we can turn the clocks and the ground power off. And let's get ready for pushback. No, not about the ice and treatment. Fortunately, we've still got no ATC on, so we're going out purely on Unicom. Um, just going to change this frequency. Just so I don't get any conflictions with uh, the live one. Well, there's one... Two. One, two, three, that's all zero, zero. Just so that doesn't conflict with my active um, on panel. Lovely. Right, so we can whack the beacon light on. Leads on. Thank you. Make sure it's still seen. Is 
Right. We're as ready as we'll ever be. What's just landed over there? Was that a? Oh. I've really got to look at my model map, Jim, because it just seems to be generating anything. But I've got uh, that one from the download off the fly-by-wire installer. I've also got the FS traffic installed. But for some reason, I'm still getting a load of uh, default planes popping up. Right. Okay, so let's go nose to the right. We'll let them know. Manchester traffic, Monarch 504, pushing back to stand 206, uh, Manchester traffic. Okay, pocket brake is released. And we are off track. Okay, Manchester traffic, easy 1589, pushing back to stand 53, that's stand 53, Manchester traffic, easy 1589. You know. I think he was adamant to say he was on stand 5-3. Right, so we'll go to, go to start A. Start number two first. Time to stand N2. Wait till they get to 20. Then goes the fuel. <coughs> Excuse me. Always love listening to these engines start. They start pretty quick, these engines, actually, I have to say. Okay, we'll start number one. Ten percent. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, if you're going in. Parking brakes are set. Oh, the right side of the aircraft. And we'll confirm a good engine Cognitive start. Ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. The only thing I've got to grab about this is that you don't really hear much difference in the cabin views of the engine start. Well, that's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky. I think we're really getting spoiled for choice really in terms of uh, quality of aircraft these days. Say hey, we've got this one, we've got the Phoenix, triple seven on its way, and also I don't know if anyone's read it, but we we'll get the um, oh, sorry the TFDI designs team's hoping to get the uh, MD11 out to us to those who haven't got the collection edition uh, this month. So another one off the list to check off as well. Quite a busy bunch of flying out in, in a few weeks hopefully. Not a long haul ops on the way right okay two good starts yep uh, we'll turn the ignition off uh apu go off the bleed can go off uh automate to max we will do a flight control check to the left right up down neutral run to the left and to the right 
neutral again. Turn that off. Uh, we'll set the trim, which was zero unit. There we go. That's fine. Let the speed brake. And then we'll set some flaps. We've lost London as well now. Oh, if no one wants to talk to me again today. Right. That's gone. Why are you? Put on the taxi line. Taxi move now. Right. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, Rob. Sorry. Okay. Manchester traffic. Modern. Uh, 505, 504, taxi in. Uh, holding point Delta Zulu for runway 23 left via November Charlie, Echo, Papa, and uh, holds cross uh, runway 23 right, uh, Manchester traffic. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's tough. Right. Off we go. thought out of Manchester today but those of you who were eagle eyed might have noticed that we did miss our turning on to Papa so we went around head on Delta joined Bravo still across the Papa Manchester traffic easy 1589 uh, crossing runway 23 right by a hotel one crossing runway 23 right by a hotel one easy 1589 okay so we're holding Tango 1 so we'll just finish up here and we'll get on the way the lights are all on. on. Click on. There we go. And we'll set the transponder. DARA. I think. 
that is all good to get. And what's that doing? Not put that on. Oh. Never noticed that before. I don't notice that. Otherwise, we won't have no oxygen. It's on now anyway. Manchester traffic, Monarch 504, uh, lined up runway 23 left. Uh, departure on the Disto 2 Renault departure, uh, Manchester traffic. Manchester Grounds has come online. I swear to do this on purpose. Okay, right, so we are lined up. Uh, we'll start the clock. Ibiza, here we come. 40%. Take off. Very hilly runway, this. But Dan. E1. Rotate. Positive rate of climb. Gear up. Really much to see out there today, unfortunately. Big first stage of fl flaps up. Big Not really much to see. That big bucket there looks like out there today. I think we're whacking the automatics there. And we'll pop up the flaps, we've passed the speed, that can go up. And we'll continue to climb. That's it, 35,000. Lovely, there we go. 35 spoke in. This arm, ground spoilers, that's the off position. Well, there we have it really. Not really much more to say. 
We're on our way to say we're on our way to uh, on our way now to uh, Ibiza from a very gloomy Manchester. Hopefully, but love we punch through this rubbish and we get into some nice, uh, nice sunnier views. Okay, right. Well, I'll come back to you when we are in our descent on our approach into land in Ibiza. Uh, but for now, I'll speak to you later. Hope you enjoy the flight. See you later. Welcome back to the final part of today's video, Monarch 504 from Manchester to Ibiza. So, where are we at? Uh, just passing through flight level, well, altitude, six, altitude 6,000 feet. Uh, it's going to slow it down a bit, it's just got a bit too fast for my liking, so I'll put the speed brakes out. We'll slow it to 210 and I'll put the first stage, put the start aside in a moment. Quite doing this sort of S shape approach into uh, runway 24. Gonna catch you guys in a few moments. Um, in terms of that sim, not really much online, very quiet. So, hopefully, don't have any trouble getting in. All right, let's take the first stage of flaps. Slack, shall I say? And then I have to go say that. There's someone just started on the ILS for two four, it sounds like, so hopefully you'll vacate before me. <clears throat> okay, right. Stats are out. It really should be it once is above three thousand, so I'm gonna stay at holding it at three thousand for now. We'll intercept to capture. It says we need to capture at 2000, but I think we can do it at uh, 3000. We'll see how we go. So the speed down to 180. Point to land. bit too fast to take the next stage is super flat we need to be below 215 uh, there you go speed's going back now we're going up for 3000 oh there you go oh i'm putting yeah oh no i'm putting up that's what on there we go yeah, it's captured the glide anyway somehow but how it's done that because it's not even uh 
there yet, but <coughs> we'll see how it goes when it comes in. Okay, uh, coming below 200 knots, so we'll take the stage of flat, first stage of flaps. miles so hopefully that guy will get off the runway in plenty of time okay right, long speed brake I think that's everything ready to go now. I think we just have to wait to capture the uh, glide slope to start our final descent. Yeah, no on there for us. I think the runway is about there, I think. Clear these hills. Below 210 knots anyway at this point, but we're already at 180, so no problem there. <coughs> Sorry, clear me throw again. Yeah, there's the runway. Just you might not be able to see it on your screens, but it's just there. Can just make out the puppies from where I am. <coughs> oh, excuse the cough again. Sorry. That's all lined up. Guess we have to go around. Just keep an eye out as well so I can see that was a bit of traffic. We're still going to park anyway. I'm not sure where we're going to park yet. Uh, you know which of these stands are uh, can accommodate an aircraft of this size but uh, definitely gonna be one of the front stands I would have thought at the airport. Uh, bring it over. I think it might we might be taking stand 29. And we'll see what happens when we land. Gonna aim to vacate by probably this taxiway here, Echo 8. We'll see how we do when we land. Right, in comes the uh, glide slope diamond. <coughs> oh, pardon me again. Sorry. So sorry, sorry. I just cannot seem to shift this chest cough. Right, let's alert that other traffic. About 10 miles out now. Not when he's making it anyway. I'd be for traffic, Monarch 504, fully established, ILS 24, 10 miles, I'd be for. Okay, so we're about... Uh, say about 8 miles now. We'll drop the gear in a few minutes. Well, a couple of minutes, we say, should be long. So I'll look outside. Oh, ain't that a lovely view? Oh, talk about a contrast left between uh, man, look at the rain we left in Manchester and oh, a lovely day in the Balearic Islands. Right, okay, let's get the gear down. Slow it to 145, which is what I put the final approach speed as. And we'll take the next stage of flaps. And we'll take the final stage. OK, 
Okay, there we are. Right, I think we are fully configured for landing. So we've got the speed brake is on, the ground is on, gear is down, three green flaps, uh, 30 and what's the other setting on this one? 30 and 40. And then that's all on. I think, right, I think that's it. We are good to land. for traffic monarch 504 is four miles out from way two for landing uh i beat the traffic Heath is one of those lovely airports that no matter which side you come into, I think you treat it to great views. Right, thousand to go. A seven knot crosswind coming in. Let's go down five, four. It says it was gusting 20. We're up on the arrival. Okay. Pizza traffic, top Swiss, A7, Charlie, Victor, Clacking, holding point on the way to 4 via Tango. Well, there's a bit of traffic catch here around. Okay. Right, 500, my aircraft. Continue. A bit high going to the pappies. There we go, back on the glide. Take that, that, oh, please do not let anything mess up now. That has got to be, an, oh, that is, I'm, I'm so happy with that landing. That was, oh, right, I think that's the closest sense I've, I've ever come. Oh, well, they came by Echo 7. And everyone, welcome to sunny Ibiza.
Here we are. We're on taxiway. Short one. This is right to my golf one anyway. And looks like we've got a uh, British Airways and Buellin trying to mer merger going on there. Down two seven. Oh, please don't tell me that Ryanair's on my stand. I wanted. Oh no. Okay, we'll have to uh, try and find another one. Oh, hang on, this is two nine. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. No, I think that Ryanair's on the stand I want he is. Right, we're going to have to go to another gate, so we will take stand. We might have to take stand at thirty if it's big enough. Uh, yeah, we will take stand 30. That would be a bit more interesting. They say we don't have to have a jetway, do we? So, wouldn't that interest him? Alright, so we're just approaching stand 30. Turn off the taxi light. The APU is available. We'll just go on the brakes. Uh, let's pop on the bleed. Right, let's slow it down. So we've got to swing it around. Oh, it's one of those funny ones, isn't it? So what we'll do is we'll swing it around, follow the line and park it there. Oh, what's going on off there? Back over a bit now. The difference in my charts, this is. Oh, we made a right mess of this. What's happened here? No, this is cheating, but. over a bit more I think that'll do I think that'll do to park any further we're going to end up in the terminal so there we go oh it's doing that view thing again did this in the fly all right there we go right okay so APU is on Yeah, that's fine. Parking brake set. One, two, off. We can release the packs. Uh, turn off all the heat. It's done that thing again. I don't know if that's the thing it's meant to do or if that's a bug. Uh, it's off. That's fine. Brilliant. Okay, so let's come down here. And we will get everything. So we'll get the chocks on, uh, ground power, and we can pop on the ground. Say goodnight to the APU. We will request the boarding, turn off the beacon, kill the fuel pumps. I think that's that. Brilliant. Brakes are a bit hot, so... Uh, oh, 370. Yep, they're definitely going to have to have a bit of brake cooling before we go. Pop on the brake fans. And then chance to get cooled down. Well, there you have it, everyone. Welcome to sunny Ibiza. Where the temperature is... Oh, I can't even see me. There we are. Let's take a look what the temperature is. It is 20 degrees. Very, very nice indeed. Right. So let's take a look at our 
landing rate, shall we? I think that's all it's left to do. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Here we are, Monarch 504. Ooh, 207! Oh, absolutely happy with that. 207. And I think we're pretty much bang on the centre line. Can't see, but we're definitely inside the touchdown zone. That has got to be the closest I've ever come to a perfect landing in the sim, I think. It is very. I don't think I'm going to get any any better than that. Right. Well, there you have it. And a bit of a bit of an old old school flight there. I think in the bag look different for a change. Um, so as I said, all the rain's been saying. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you do like uh, more flights and content, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. And while you're down there, why not? hit that like button and hit the bell as well so you get notified of all the latest videos uh, if you have subscribed already thank you so much for your support you guys are absolute legends and it means so much okay right well that's it for this video this week i saw the lovely passengers disembark the aircraft now time for me to say goodbye from monarch 504 hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you all in the next one Take care and goodbye for now.